Hello everyone, my name is Parker Fields and today we are going to actually upgrade my little Baja Doodle Bug. This is a Baja Doodle Bug DB30 and as you can see it is a completely solid frame. However, we are going to fix that today. I did realize something. The suspension kit that comes from Go Power Sports is actually made if your handlebars are not part of the forks. So I'm going to need to get some handlebars for this thing that'll actually fit on top of the suspension components. Uh, Cause uh, that's not ideal. Cause we'll also have to take off the brake and the throttle lever itself. So let's get the new stuff on. Basically, we start with uh, two, two brackets right here. These kind of go like so. Yep, pretty much. Except I think that actually goes here so that can catch right there and not turn too far, which makes sense. Go ahead and just start attaching crap. Now we have to get this right here on top. Just loosen these bolts up here. And of course, when you tighten it down, that as well eventually look like more like that, but yeah, basically this, this is what it is. So uh, just I'm just gonna get them hand tight right now so I can kind of get it seated. Then that goes up in there. Yeah. And front suspension is going to change the actual way this thing rides by quite a lot. So it's a good idea to put some suspension on a bike that you plan to take off road. After many hours of shopping and about 30 minutes of work I kind of got something fabricated up welcome to the new iteration of the mini bike handlebars still have to clamp down the kill switch but the throttle with a bit of tape because the handlebars are a little skinny for it are secured and it does work what I did is I went to a motorcycle junkyard and got them I also got I also unbolted an ATV riser uh, riser set and I went to Ace Hardware and I got these L brackets that go all along here I couldn't find one completely straight that would work as well as these did but uh, I don't mind these uh, I'll just leave them there so maybe I could even bolt something there for something cool on the dash or something like that I don't know but uh, as you can see I ran out of these uh, bolts but found that one more Okay, so I think I've diagnosed it definitely is a fuel issue just because it takes a minute and it'll eventually get started. But, uh, yeah, just, just hold down. Don't run away on me, but definitely is a bit of a fuel issue, and obviously, as you can see, I think I need to push this on a little bit more. I'm sure, it's vibrating like crazy. Yeah, still a work in progress. 